You ever have trouble falling asleep the night before? S staying awake with worry? I'm going to guess yes, because that's what our mind does. It's actually built to worry, especially about the things that we care the most about, because those are the things that could hurt us the most. So when we're ready to go to bed and we've got a big event or game or, or meeting the next day, our mind's going to wander there and tell us all the things that could go wrong. So I've got a couple strategies for you about what to do instead. And the first one is to actually focus in on why you're actually prepared for the event the next day. Again, knowing that your mind is actually built to wander and worry about things as a way to prepare you for danger and warn you about it, you can kind of let your mind know that, okay, I've already got this taken care of by reflecting on the great practices that you've had, the preparation that you've done. And by knowing that your mind is built to worry, you don't have to take it quite as seriously. You ever just have somebody in your life that you don't really want to pay attention to? Um, and you don't have to have them to shut up, although you would like them to, but you just let them kind of go into the background and they become background noise. Well, that's what your worry at night can be. You can just take pride in knowing that your mind is caring about what is going to happen tomorrow, but you don't really have to pay attention to it. You can focus on the things that you've done and know that you're ready. But part two of this is to generally ask yourself, have I done everything that I can to be prepared? And if you haven't, then get up and do it. For example, if it's earlier in the night and you're starting to worry and you haven't studied for that test, get up and do some studying. Or if you're preparing for an event the next day, do you have everything packed? Can you get up and get your clothes ready for the next day? Have your lunch prepared? Have the your, your training bag packed? Your snacks ready? Like if there's things that you could do that would help calm your mind, by all means, get up and do them. Most of the time it's going to be too late. Um, and so at the very least, if you want to make a a list of things that you'd have to do the following morning so that you can quiet your mind, knowing that everything is checked off. And also then realizing that you've done everything you can up to this point. So the next big strategy is, well, maybe the best thing I can do right now is actually get a good night's sleep. And understand that while your mind is built to worry and it wanders, right now that's serving you no good. The very best thing that you could do is allow yourself to relax, and get a good quality night's sleep so that you can be best prepared for tomorrow. So really the worst thing you can do is to fight with your anxiety and try to ignore it and try to make yourself calm down. In fact, do the opposite. Lean into it with these three steps. One, check and make a list of how you know that you are actually prepared. Number two, if you're not prepared, get prepared. Either make a list of what you have to do tomorrow or get it done right now. And number three, lean into the relaxation as a way to prepare yourself for sleep in preparation for the event the next day.